Hello everyone, my name is Pravesh Sudha and welcome back to my channel. Today we are taking a simple Flask to do application and automating everything with AWS, Terraform, Jenkins, and Docker. By the end of the video, you'll learn how to deploy a Flask app on AWS EC2 instance, use Terraform to provision resources, automate deployment with Jenkins CI/CD and integrate AWS DynamoDB and SNS for task management and email alerts. So I have created a demo of this application. So uh, you can add tasks like make the to-do app or subscribe to my channel using the add task button. And the task is successfully added. Now you can mark this task as complete or deleted. So let me just complete this task. So you can see that the task is completed and email notification is sent. So let me go to my email and here you can see that I have got the notification of task completed. Subscribe to my channel. So first we need a host machine to run our application. We we'll launch an EC2 instance on AWS. So let's create an EC2 instance name Flask to do application. Select Ubuntu as image and we'll select t2.small as the instance type. I'll select default EC2 as my key pair. Now I'm gonna select an existing security group which is my default security group. I'll show you its configuration later on. And in the storage, I will give 15 GBs. That would be enough for all the tools and the application. So I'll hit launch instance. Now while the instance is setting up, let me show you the security group. So let me click on the instance, go to the security tab and in the security group, let me edit the inbound rule. So here you can see that I have port 22 open for SSH, port 5000 open for my application and port 80 and 443 for HTTP and HTTPS. And here I have port 8080 for Jenkins port. So let me go to the EC2 instance and see if the cons uh, the instance is running. So let me connect it. I'll copy this command, go to my terminal. I'll navigate inside the key pair directory and paste the command. So now I'm inside the instance. I'll run the installation command. I have a install script txt file that contain all the command for installation tools so let me open it so firstly i'll start with installing docker and paste it in inside the terminal So now to add Jenkins to the docker group, I'll use sudo user mode hyphen ag docker followed by Jenkins. So now I need to reboot the instance to let it reflect the change. So, so before provisioning our infrastructure using Terraform, we need to configure our credential of AWS. For that we'll use AWS configure command and it prompts you to write your AWS access key and secret access key. I have already provided mine. So you can generate your from the IAM dashboard. So if you don't have a key pair, go to IAM users, select your user. I have light user. So click on the user, go to the security credential, click on create access key. In the use case, select command line interface and agree to the terms and condition. Hit create and give a tag value and click on create access key. This will give you the access key and the secret access key. Copy it and configure your AWS credential. So now you need to clone the GitHub wrapper. So write git clone followed by the repository link. Copy the link from the GitHub wrapper and paste it inside the terminal. So now you can 
navigate to the projects directory it's flask to do app so here we have co uh, config.py file so the config.py file has some environment variable now i want you to change this email to your email to receive the notification and the sns topic we will be setting it using the export environment command so so let's navigate inside the terraform setup directory now this directory has a main.tf file which is basically a simple terraform file that uses aws provider it will be creating a dynamo db table named to do task and has task id as the hash key and we have an sns topic named to do notification and we will be creating a subscription with the email now you need to just change this email to your email okay so now we'll run terraform init command to initialize the terraform So now our Terraform has been initialized. We'll use Terraform apply command to provision our infrastructure and create the DynamoDB table along with the SNS topics. So now in the configuration, we can see that a DynamoDB table will be created with ID as task ID and an SNS topic of to-do notification will be created. And we have a subscription with pro Programmer Pravesh at the rate gmail.com as email. Change it according to your email. Now Terraform will create our infrastructure in a few seconds. So we, key, uh, we can see the SNS topic here and we'll copy it and uh, use the export SNS topic command to set it as our environment variable. So after that, we'll navigate back to our projects directory and install a virtual environment. We will install all the dependency related to the project. So we'll create the virtual environment, activate it. And using pip3, we'll install all the requirements. So now our uh, now we'll use flask run host and specify the host which is 0.0.0, .0, and run our application. So I think I put the wrong command. So flask run host. So now our application is running on port 5000. We'll go to the public IP address of our instance. We'll copy it and paste it inside our browser followed by port 5000. So here we have our application running, but before adding anything, we'll need to confirm our subscription. So go to your email box and here we'll confirm the subscription. So now our subscription is confirmed. We'll go to our application, write some task like made the to do application and something like like and subscribe now if i mark a task complete an email notification will be sent so you can see that the task is completed and an email notification is sent let's go to our email inbox and here you can see that the task is completed, the like and share subscribe, and it is sent as an email. So now we'll go to a DynamoDB table to see the data inside the table. So let's click the to do task, click on explore item. And here we have the do, two tasks. And uh, the thing you need to notice, like we have marked it as true in the application, which is reflected here. So We'll stop the application here and so now we have done the demo of application. Now we will use terraform destroy command to destroy the infrastructure 
and we will recreate everything in an automated way using Jenkins CI/CD pipeline. So run terraform destroy command. Now it will prompt you to destroy all the command. Type yes and all your resources will be deleted. So now we'll go back to our projects directory. So we will use Jenkins to create a CICD pipeline that will automate everything. So for that we need to get the Jenkins initial admin password which can be found in the install script command. So we have this sudo cat command. We'll copy it and paste it inside our terminal. So this gave us the password. Now we just need to go to the public IP address of our instance followed by port 8080. So let's do that first. We'll copy the public IP address of our instance. Paste it inside the browser followed by port 8080. So now here we will paste our initial admin password. And we'll install the suggested plugins. Click on install suggested plugin. Now we'll create an admin user. I'll give username as admin, password as ad admin, the full name as admin, and the email address as admin at the rate gmail.com. Let's continue. And in the Jenkins URL, I'll leave it as default. And we'll start using Jenkins. So before we create the project, we need to install some plugin. For that, go to manage Jenkins and click on plugins. We need to install Terraform and SSH agent. So go to available plugin, search for Terraform and SSH agent and click on install. Similarly, we need to go to our credentials and provide our AWS access key and secret access key for Jenkins to authenticate with our AWS account. So we'll go to credential, click on system, click on add creden uh, global credential and hit add credential. Here we need to specify secret text and add our AWS access key and secret access key. So I'm doing that right now. AWS access key ID, paste it here, hit create. Similarly, I will create the AWS secret access key. AWS secret access key. And paste down the value. So after that, I will restart the Jenkins by using my followed restart. So now once Jenkins is restart, we'll start the project. So we'll click on new item, select pipeline as project and we'll give it a name flask to do dyn dynamo. So let it create. So now I'll navigate down in the pipeline structure and select pipeline script from SCM and select git as the source. In the repository URL, I'll copy down the repository URL from the GitHub, copy it and paste it inside the repository URL. I don't need to provide any credential because it is a public repo. I'll change the branch from master to main and in the script path, I will paste the location of the Jenkins file. For that, I'll go to the repository, click on the Jenkins file, I'll copy it and paste it here. 
and I'll save this configuration. So now I'll go and build this pipeline. So I'll click on the project. Click on build now. So the build will start. I'll click on the build. Go to the console output. So the pipeline is finished successfully. So now if I navigate to the public IP address of the instance followed by port 5000 of the application, I would be seeing our application running. So let's see. So the application is running fine. So firstly, we'll go to our inbox and confirm the subscription. So once the subscription is confirmed, we are good to go with our application. So let's create some tasks like good and like like, share, subscribe, add it and we'll mark it as complete. So the task is completed and the email notification is sent. Let's go to our inbox and we can see that we have the notification of task completed. So uh, if you want to practice this project in a blog format, I have written down a blog about it. Go to blog.pravesuta.com. Here, search about Flask and you will find the project of automating a Flask to-do application. So, this is the end of the video. If you found this video helpful, smash the like button, subscribe and drop a comment on what you want to see next. So, see you in the next video.